joining me again and today I'm going to show you how to do smoky eyes you know because we all can't do them <laughs> and so this is how I do it and hopefully how I do it uh, helps you uh, I'm not saying that I'm super awesome number one at this because obviously I'm not but it's the way that has worked for me uh, for quite a while and I can use it in any color range so if you would like to figure out how to do this kind of smokety eye thing, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you my haphazard but well described process. Yes. Okay. Keep watching. So a smoky eye. There are literally 50 million tutorials out there, picture, video, written explanations, diagrams, constellations maybe, on how to do a smoky eye and I'm sure all of them work but I've never found one that actually works flat out just for me. I love how I have lipstick on my tooth right there. Sweet! That was just more lipstick for later. That's what that was. Um, where was I? So yeah, there are so many tutorials out there to show you how to do a smoky eye and I've pulled information from just about all of them that I can that's useful for me because not all of them work in, in its entirety because, not because they're wrong, not at all. They just, you know, have too much expectation of my ability. So I kind of picked all the information that works for me and now this is the smoky eye that works for me uh, that always seems to kind of give me the look that I want. I like a very dark, smoky eye. Um, very, very occasionally I'll do a very light, smoky eye. Um, and even then, it's more like a, I don't know, wasn't even on fire at all. I don't know. That was lame. Okay, anyway, so I have already primed and moisturized my face. So we are going to get started. I'm doing a purple smoky eye today, and because those are cool toned colors, I'm going to lay down uh, first a cool toned base to help smoke out the color. And how I do smoky eyes are um, I lay down the, la the lightest colors first, and then I will lay down the darkest color last. Um, because it, I feel like it, it helps the blending process a lot better and also it's easier to smoke that dark color into the light color um, without getting that huge muddy effect. Like I said, because my ability is not the most amazing, this works for me. So the purples I'm using are from the True Love palette from Kat Von D. Alright, so after priming and moisturizing uh, my face, of course what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a translucent uh, powder underneath my eye to catch any fallout that will happen. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blending color here for the entirety of my eye and go from my brow bone to my crease, into the corner of my eye, and I'm going to take it around the outside of my eye and under it as well. Basically, I'm doing all of my eye except for my eyelid. Oh no, we've hit pan! <laughs> that's sad. Okay, that's fine. That's the point of it all. Alright, so after that I'm going to take my first layer of color, which is my lightest color and also kind of my neutral background for it, which is a matte gray color from NYX Cosmetics. I'm going to put it on that same fluffy brush and just put it all around the outside of my, my eye, just outside of my crease. I'm going to make sure it's very light because it's not the prominent color but it is going to help build those layers. When doing this first layer, make sure to make it very soft and make sure to blend your outside edge because 
As I said before, you do not want this to be your main color. You just want it as an assistant, basically. So keep it in the background. The next color I'm going to take is this purple one here, and I'm going to layer it from my crease outward over the gray. I'm not going to take it all the way out to the gray border, but I'm going to be blending it into that too. You'll see what I mean. I'm also going to start bringing the purple underneath my eye as well, about halfway in on my lower eyelid. I'm also going to blend the color slightly down onto my eyelid. When you have your color the way that you like, you're going to take a fluffy shadow brush. I have this super cute one from Tokidoki. I don't think they make it anymore, but I do love it. It's a little cow. And I'm going to take my darkest purple color here and put it on my eyelid. With these very dark colors, what I do first is I pack the color on my eyelid before I start sweeping because that is where a lot of fallout happens. So when you get your dark color on your brush, any color really, what you want to do is you want to just tap off the excess and then pack on your color that way. And that way you can kind of build it and cut down on your fallout. And then when I have a good at least beginning base on my eyelid, I can take it and feel more free to start building that color in more dramatically. As you see, I do have some fallout, but since we have our powder there, all I have to do is take a fluffy brush and lightly brush it away. And I don't have those wonderful streaks underneath my eye that sometimes happens if you don't put powder there. Next, I'm going to take a domed shadow brush with a little bit more of the same color just to blend out the outside edge to make sure that's as seamless as possible. English is hard. Then I'm gonna take a large fluffy brush that is clean and just blend out my edges. The final color that I'm gonna use is just a little bit of black shadow in the crease of my eye and around the outside corner just to add some definition. I'm also gonna take a shorter bristled shadow brush, try saying that when you're sober, just to pack some black eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. Next, you're going to put on your eyeliner, uh, on your waterline. This was a terrible idea to have a black background. Everything I own is black. I'm like a floating head. Anyway, next you're going to do your waterline eyeliner and your wing liner, or however you want to do it. You, I don't know your life. Alright, when your eyeliner is relatively even and you don't completely hate it, what you're going to do is just going to do your mascara and your eyebrow. All right, and that completes the smoky eye tutorial that I have. It's the way I do it. It's the way that works for me. Hopefully something in here has helped you if you ever have trouble with smoky eyes. I still do, um, but this is the one that usually works for me, and I find that I can use it in any color family as long as I have at least three shades of in the same family. I'm pretty much fine. Um, so yeah, 
I have also paired this look with LA Splash Cosmetics Smitten Lip Tint Mousse in the color Raven. Um, I Because I like a bold lip and I like a bold eye. I think it was Oscar Wilde who said too much of a good thing is just enough for me. And that is right. But I mean, that could really come back and bite you in the ass. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be cool. We could be friends on this stuff. And I don't always talk about makeup, so... Well, I, I have so far, but I won't in the future because there are other things that I do besides sit and do my makeup. You know, depending on who you ask. Um, so yeah, if you want to like, subscribe, you know, uh, share around, that would be cool. Then we could have more friends, because why not? Uh, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I will, I am trying to remember to list everything that I use in the comments. Uh, so always in, in the description. So make sure to check that. As always as well, you can find me on Instagram at Grotesca Media, Etsy under Grotesca Media. I have links from my shop there too. And of course, Facebook at Gro Media Grotesca. <laughs> I will have the links down below as well. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, don't be a dick because society frowns upon it. Okay, bye.